All right, guys, so we are finishing up Zeus's training. Um, why was I brought down here to train Zeus to begin with? What, what issues were you having with him? Lauren, I'll let you go first. Well, I couldn't really get up in the morning. I'd have to stay in my room, get up, go to the bathroom, run back in my room, but I got to make sure that he wasn't there because he'd get me and run faster than I could get to the bathroom. My room's like here and here. He would get me and he would jump and then gnaw on you. <laughs> <laughs> he'd get you and you just get all black and blue legs. It was bad. So he just tried tackling you every morning? Yes. So you had to strategically plan your bathroom trips? <laughs> it does not matter if he is sick. The one way to find out if he is like deathly sick is I have to jump around and make sure he is not sick. Like, really sick. <laughs> Cause it because it normally chases you if you yeah. Yes, he will bite me. Even trained, he will do that. <laughs> That's how we know if he's sick or not. How could you, uh, how'd you walk him before? I couldn't. No. Even he with the leash so on? Bad. No. no. He pulled her. Yeah. She always had to have her phone, have her phone because she knows one time she is going to go down. <laughs> that's what, yeah, I used to keep my phone on me when I would walk him in case the dog pulled me down so I could call my husband to come pick <laughs> us up. Literally. I was like, keep your phone open. Nice. But, yeah, he was bad. So like not quite said. off leash healing. <laughs> no, no. That's what I said. He, he's very, he was very good at being bad. <laughs> is most of what he did but our biggest problem was with her um, he would literally run attack her he treated her more like a sibling but he was really rough with her um, how was his uh, off-leash obedience before there was none <laughs> there was no on-leash obedience so and also brought him to work which made it difficult um, he would basically kind of bite people here jump on people um, it was not a good situation and uh, what happened when you uh, let him out to go to the restroom one night? One night, it was about 10 p.m., he literally took off running, and there's several acres behind our business, and he didn't come back for an hour. So there, there was no retrieval. No recall? Yet. There was zero recall. <laughs> Less than zero. Awesome. So uh, you feel like he's a little bit better now, Lauren? Yes. <laughs> Have a little more control over him now? Yes, it's fun. Good. This guy's amazing now. We're happy to hear that. Anything else? What? Feel good about everything? I would feel, feel like great you both have control yeah, over him. Like we have control over him. I think it's going to bring a lot more. And we can go to Starbucks every Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. yeah and yeah, we can go to yeah. Starbucks with them. And All right, well, that's it. I appreciate it. Hey guys, what's going on? Nick White, owner of Off Leash Canine Training, here in the warm and wonderful Pensacola, Florida doing a five-day private training seminar for seven-month-old Doberman, Zeus. Um, Zeus really doesn't have any major issues. Um, not very good with dogs. Um, he just wasn't socialized with them much. The owner says he's really good at being bad. So <laughs> he gets into a lot of trouble, jumps, knocks people over, doesn't listen, no obedience really. Um, just kind of a seven-month-old Doberman starting from complete scratch. So I'm going to try to show you what Zeus does on day one. Zeus, come. Hey, come. Zeus, come. Come. Zeus, come. Come. So again, there's this come. Zeus. Seat. 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 They said they want him to uh, do German. That's how they've been trying to teach him. Zeus. Seat. Seat. Zeus, plop! <laughs> Zeus, plop! 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 Zeus, poos! 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 Come on, poos! Poos! So pretty much as I stated, started from scratch, so we're looking forward to showing you his progress in five days. Plots! Good boy, Zeusy. Good boy.
Bad boys. Bad boys. Some people have problems getting their dog in the crate before they leave, getting them in there without bribe them with treats, so we fix that too. Or And notice Zeus won't come out even though the gate's open until I release him. Free! Good boy, Zeus. The owners said that Zeus, anytime he saw a squirrel, he was gone, zero recall. So I brought Zeus to what I consider the most single popular place that I've ever been to um, for squirrels. As you see, they're, I mean, they're literally everywhere at this park. They're on the trees, they're over there. You know, they're running around, bouncing over there. Um, there's some over there playing. So the point I'm making, and Zeus notices them, um, is, oh, there's another one, is you can have a really high prey drive dog. Look at that, see, he saw it. But you can have full control over it with proper obedience. Free. Good boy, Zeus. Go set the alarm. And that's it. So what do you think? <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> Never would have had it.
happened. <laughs> and then just shut the door. Yep. And then good boy. That's it. Boy, Susie? Oh my goodness. Up to you. Go ahead and release him. Here. Good boy. You see your videos with people, you know, the dogs are just walking beside them. It is so huge. No one thinks it's, it can be their dog. Right, right. <laughs> oh, my dog will never do that. I mean, that's great for you, but <laughs> that's never going to happen for me. Say his name and stop. Walk away. Walk away. And then release. Good boy.